Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2 visiting with Dr. Rappaport. Dr. Rappaport, you created the first viable oral form of ATP. Uh, talk to the viewers about the safety of your product. Oh, that's a, that's a great question and a very important one. And since we have discussed the efficacy for so long, and since efficacy has to go hand in hand with safety, it's time to discuss the safety of the product. Uh, we did emphasize throughout our discussions that uh, the enhancements of blood flow and the stimulation of uh, glucose disposal go without any effect on heart rate or on blood pressure. In other words, the reduction in systemic vascular resistance is not enough to affect blood pressure or to reduce blood pressure or to produce hypotension. So the, in other words, ATP is not a stimulant. It does not involve an okay. effect on the heart. The heart does not pump harder to achieve the stimulation in blood That's flow. That's good to know. That's safe. Uh, in another, the, the, other, um, uh, the other point that I'd like to emphasize is that uh, oral ATP has been on the market now for four years, and we, have, we haven't had a single complaint about oh, it good. in different formulations. And uh, also, I think it's time to bring up the French trials that were published <coughs> that uh, <coughs> demonstrated uh, a highly positive effect on uh, subacute low back pain. They have used uh, 161 patients in one trial and 157 patients in, two, in the other trial, uh, divided into two arms, but these patients were in uh, double-blinded, multi-sited trials uh, where the ATP was in uh, form of uh, powder in uh, two uh, half, uh, two, um, two halves of a hard shell capsule. And again, there was no problem whatsoever. It was completely safe. Very well tolerated. Uh, were very well tolerated and not a single complaint. Oh, very so good. So I think that the questions of efficacy and safety uh, are very, very favorable uh, towards this type of nutritional supplement and again, uh, I, I, I need to emphasize that we are dealing with the natural agonist, with the agonist that, or the ligand that the body uses for these purposes, not some synthetic molecule that is toxic that was synthesized by a pharmaceutical company. It's a natural product. It's a product that the body itself uses for these particular purposes. And we are trying in a true nutritional supplement term to enhance the effect of the body or to supplement the effect that the body has seemed to have lost during aging or during certain conditions. So it's safe, it's well tolerated, and it's effective. Yes. Well, thank you for developing this form of ATP, Dr. Rappaport, and thank you.